Get the most complete tiling DVD ever developed. Planning, installation, regulations, maintenance, and more. Buy it today at agphd.com and order your copy of my new book, $100 an hour jobs, lessons from dad, all at agphd.com. Well, you might have thought our weed of the week is red root pigweed or palmer pigweed, but it's actually a different pigweed species. It is water hemp. Well, this is the favorite weed that we've got on our farm brand Fa because oh, it's, the <laughs> it's the most popular <laughs> weed. It's the most popular weed. Most hated weed. <laughs> Well, it's, it's one, any of these pigweed species weeds can really spread fast. They put on tens of thousands of seeds Or maybe per a million. Plant. Yeah, it, it's just crazy. I recently had a chance to go down to Southern Arkansas, and if you're from that area, you know all about the pigweed species, but they have Roundup resistant pigweeds in that area. And what happened is in 2008, there was maybe one here and there. By 2009, there were streaks in the field. And by 2010, the University of Arkansas was estimating in some fields up to 350,000 pigweeds per acre. So but, any of these pigweeds, you really need to take them serious. Yeah, but with water hemp, if an individual plant can put on a million seeds and a plant can grow three to four inches in a day, it's no wonder why this is happening. And as we drive around in late August across the country, we see all kinds of water hemp plants popping up in soybean fields. It's a major problem. How are we going to stop it? Well, you have to start off with a good pre Emerge program. One of the grass killing prees like Treflan or Sonlan or Prowl, they do a fairly decent job on water hemp, but it's also good to put in something like a Valor or Authority or Sencor. Yeah, they're going to be even they're, better. There are a number of different products. But the key is put two products down, put two different herbicides down because we don't have, other than Roundup, very good ways to control it post emerge in soybeans. You could use Flexstar or Cobra, something like that, but that's only going to work if the water hemp is small and that's only going to happen for just a few days. Well the other thing you could do too is put some more residual in with your early post-emerge application whether it's something like Dual that's not tremendously effective on pigweeds or the new Warrant which looks to be a little better. Or you could go to Liberty Link Soybeans which is what a number of farmers are doing when the Roundup won't work anymore. Now we're not saying that all water hemp out there is Roundup resistant but it seems like we're having more problems with all these different pigweed species. Roundup's just not doing the same job it used to. Okay, how about corn? Well, in corn, it's not such a big deal because we can still do a nice job with status post-emerge. We start out pre with something like harness or even better integrity okay, and, how about, and get most of the pigweeds out of the way. All right, how about wheat? Well, in wheat, that's not a big problem either. You're going to have the crop canopy of the wheat to help you out, which is a really big deal fighting water hemp. Also, many of the post-emerge products do a nice job like husky, for example. Well, once again, our weed of the week is water hemp. It grows fast, puts on lots of seeds. Make sure you're controlling it and using a pre-emerge herbicide to do a great job on it on your farm next year. That's it for our Weed of the Week, but stay tuned. Iron Talk is coming up next.